Welcome to Stay Alive with Church Alive and our feature program, Ask Dr. Tommy O. And uh, we are going to be dealing with breast cancer uh, in this segment. And we want to thank all of you for over the years you've allowed us to bring information, resources, and services into your homes um, that have made drastic changes in your lifestyle and have improved your lifestyle. And that's our effort to take a holistic approach to every aspect of life and bring it to you so that you can make positive decisions and see changes in your life. And so without any further ado, our guests, and I guess more than our guests, but your doctor, Dr. Tommy O. Welcome to Church Alive. Thank you. We're not gonna say welcome anymore <laughs> <laughs> because you've become part of, of Church Alive and certainly this is your program. And by the way, uh, I, we're, gonna, we're gonna congratulate you. Your program, Ask Dr. Tommy O, was a Beta Awards winner uh, in the category of health. And uh, so you, you should be uh, uh, you know, congratulated for doing an excellent job, S such a good job that they have recognized you uh, as a quality program that is bringing important health issues to our people. Dr. Tommy O. Uh, we're gonna be talking about breast cancer, but before we do, I know you would like to introduce uh, someone who's working very closely with you, and I want to I want to also uh, acknowledge the fact that you have really taken young people under your wings to help them to move forward in their careers, Dr. Tommy O. Right. Yeah. Just uh, at that point, that uh, during my training, I had strong, positive role models, and mm. I shaped my life around, and that's my parents as well as other uh, professors in my life, as well as you. Mm -hmm. we're, we're making a difference, and uh, at, since we received the award, we gave a promise that we we're going to give the best show possible we did. and we're proving it and we're going to continue to give the best show possible. It's about patient awareness and that's what Breast Cancer Awareness Month and this show is all about. Okay. But today I also have a special guest with me. This is going to be the second time. This is a, a student of mine. She came back to study under me for a second month. Her name is Jeanette Villanueva. Now you know you're making her famous, you know that. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Go right ahead. Hi. Villanueva, tell us a little bit about yourself and you were born in the Bronx, am I correct? Yes, I was born and raised in the Bronx. I still live there on 198th Street. I also go to Mercy College, the Bronx campus. I'm in the Physician Assistant Program. It's a graduate master's degree program. And there, right now I'm in my clinical rotation year, and I had done a family medicine rotation with Dr. O'Brien. He's a great teacher. I learned a lot from him. I see how the patients come in feeling one way and then they leave out feeling much better and the reason for that is because he's very into educating his patients and they leave with an understanding of their condition as well as treatment for their condition. So that's why I decided to return to be with him for my elective rotation now. We want to thank you very much and I'm, I'm proud of you and I know you're setting an example for many young people. This, the area of medicine and the need for clinicians is great in our city and in our country. Dr. Tommy O, um, we're going to be talking about breast cancer. This is a serious problem among women. Yeah. And uh, uh, we have misunderstandings. A lot of women aren't aware of exactly uh, what they can do or what is breast cancer. Right, right. So I would like you to open up in that area. Okay, well, let's just start off and we'll define what cancer is. Mm -hmm. uh, cancer is the uncontrolled division of cells. That's what we call cancer. Uh, we can have a normal cell that has a gene, a so-called mm -hmm. cancer gene, that makes the cell multiply, divide, and it's uncontrollable. And then what happens is, is those cells take over versus mm -hmm. the so-called normal cells. Mm -hmm. That's what cancer is. Now with breast cancer, it would be abnormally dividing cells within the breast tissue. That's what breast cancer is. Okay, we know that uh, the exact for breast cancer is, is quite unknown, mm -hmm. but there have been studies that have shown where the risk factors are. Right. And I think it's important for us to at least begin to go to that risk factor so that we can get a clear picture of it, all right? So uh, tell us, uh, um, in these studies, the, one of the risk factors that I noticed here was advanced age, mm -hmm. the age of a person. Right, right. Um, the studies demonstrate that with the advancing age in women, there is a higher risk or, or an association with developing cre uh, breast cancer. That might be due to the changes in the hormones in the body as well as just the exposure to the environment. 
Uh, they did studies on Long Island that there's certain areas where uh, you can almost say that you have the cancer, breast cancer belt in certain sections of Long Island where there are more women that are experience and develop breast cancer and that's why we have the breast cancer societies and they're trying to develop uh, new mm -hmm. techniques to uh, diagnose and treat this. Correct. Now in many cases there's genetic, we have family uh, history of um, of breast cancer. Yeah. Is that a factor? Yes. Uh, genetics play a big role mm -hmm. in our genetic makeup, who mm -hmm. we are. Um, in this particular uh, disease itself, there is a strong link with uh, family history or genetic background, meaning that if there are um, your, your mother, your aunts, your grandma, if she's had breast cancer, even on the male side, and we're going to cover this also, that mm -hmm. there is uh, cancer or breast say. cancer, that there is a good chance or a high risk that you might develop mm. breast cancer. All right, now we're talking about uh, previous history. Mm -hmm. um, how does that play into it? Okay, what we mean by uh, previous history is that means you've been diagnosed in the past with breast cancer. If you've been diagnosed with breast cancer, you have an increased risk, a higher risk for developing future breast cancer. It doesn't mean that you're going to develop it, it just means that you have an increased risk or a higher risk for developing breast cancer. Now, uh, what should, should some of the women look for? You know, we have uh, the, uh, the women have periods, and mm -hmm. how does that play into this issue of, okay. of, um, of the risk factors? Right. Uh, what you're referring to is uh, a monarch, meaning early onset or, or the onset of having a menstrual or period. It's, the studies demonstrate that women who have an early onset of their period, let's say seven, eight years old, have a higher risk for developing breast cancer. Mm. doesn't mean you're going to have breast cancer, but just a risk. Again, it's a risk. doesn't mean you're going to be diagnosed with it, just a risk factor. Uh, the average age, we can say, is between uh, 11 and 13. Uh, was, we, the studies say women who start their menses maybe seven, eight, nine years old. Just have an elevated risk factor for de developing it. Now, I guess since we're talking about women, mm -hmm. um, uh, we understand that breast cancer is the most common uh, cancer among American women. Yes. Um, second leading cause of death, cancer death, uh, in the in, next to lungs, That's cancer. Right. All right, now uh, I would like to go into that a little bit because that needs to be expanded because we know that there are ages involved here too mm -hmm. between what age and what age. Right. Well, can you take it from there? Sure. Uh, again, everything in medicine is all about studies. We have to study mm -hmm. populations. We have to study different groups. We do what's called demographics and all the studies suggest that there's an increased risk for developing breast cancer and it's a, an association with women higher, at high risk between the ages of about 35 and 45 to 50. So this is the age range that we're looking at that are at higher risk for developing breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And it, it's estimated that one in every woman in over a lifetime can can develop breast cancer. In other words, one in every eight. One in every eight. Okay, you know, that's, that's, um, that's serious. That's serious. Uh, especially here in the Bronx, we're finding out that breast cancer across the city is becoming a real problem. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question, but I'm smiling at the same time because uh, a lot of men are going to say, this, you know, Dr. Burke, it must be facetious, but I'm going to ask the question anyway, and they'll see what I'm talking about. And it's 